Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the extrusion command in Revit. If you want to learn about any specific com uh, command, you can ask me in the comments below. And before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. For this tutorial, I have opened this furniture template file. It already has two built-in reference planes, this center left and right, and the other one, this center front and back in the floor plan. So now, before uh, I place the extrusion, first of all, I have to define a reference plane on which I'm going to create this extrusion. So click on this extrusion command in the create tab. So it is basically that we draw a 2D profile and then give it a height. So by default, the floor plan is uh, the reference level is the uh, reference plane on which I'm going to draw in this floor plan. And now I'm going to draw a rectangle in here. After that, there are two options here, which is the extrusion end and the extrusion start. In the extrusion end, I'm going to add the value 5 feet. Now, if you go to the 3D, you can see that it has been extruded 5 feet. You can also change its dimensions by dragging these arrows. And you can see that by dragging the stop arrow, the extrusion end is changing its value so you can either enter a value or you can do it manually now let's learn about what you can do with this extrusion start to understand it completely go to the elevation now in this elevation the reference level is the reference plane on which i have drawn the 2d profile so now if i drag it below you can see that the extrusion start has a negative value for example if I add minus 5 feet here it means that it has extruded 5 feet below the reference plane on which I have drawn the 2d profile and if I enter a positive 5 feet value that means that it has extruded after 5 feet on of the reference plane on which I have drawn the 2d profile now, if I enter a value of minus 7 feet, that means that it has extruded after, it has extruded uh, below the reference plane. So, that makes it total as 7 plus 5 means 12 feet of, extru of total extrusion. Now let's see how we can add parameters to an extrusion. For that, draw a rectangle here or any kind of shape you want. And then assign parameters to it. For example, I have assigned these two parameters of length and height. Now I'm not going to assign a value of extrusion. Click on this point. Then click on this new parameter icon and create a new parameter. Then open this parameters dialog box and add a formula here. I'm going to give it a simple formula of length plus width, which means that the height of the extrusion should be uh, length, the value of length plus width. So now if I change the value in the length or width, the height, uh, the extrusion will automatically change its value. 
and if you want to learn more about extrusion and how you can create different types of families in the Revit you can check different tutorials on that which are available on my channel and also to learn more about the uh, reference planes check out the video link in the description box you can also look uh, uh, outside or more than one side of the extrusion to the reference plane with the help of the align command so that it cannot be extruded in that direction now if I draw a reference plane from left to right and then draw an extrusion on it as shown in this video it is extruded towards this direction and if I draw a reference plane from right to left it is extruded in the opposite direction so keep in mind that uh, what is the direction of the reference plane so that there is no confusion when you give the value of extrusion and an extrusion start to the 2D profile. Now if you want to create an opening within an extrusion there are three ways of that. First you draw it like this and when you extrude it, it has an opening within it. And if you draw in the root profile such that the lines overlap with each other, the, the, it will not be extruded and the Revit will give an error. So make sure that the lines does not overlap and are in a closed loop. Now if I want to draw an extrusion now in this form for that select void extrusion and then draw a 2D profile and now you can see that a void has been created within this form. Now if you have created an, uh, if you want to create a void extrusion but you have created it with the help of a simple extrusion command for that select this then go in this properties box and you from here select this void now you can see that it has changed its color now select the cut command and then cut like this as shown in this video now you can also assign material to this extrusion from this dialog box and you can also add, uh, set its visibility and graphic settings so i hope you like this tutorial and i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe